My name is Scott Marlow with the Rural Advancement Foundation International. This video is an introduction to a series of videos that we're doing about disaster recovery for farmers. But I wanted to take a moment to explain a little bit about what RAFI does and what our history is. RAFI is a nonprofit organization. We're based here in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. We work all the way from the very local individual farmer level to national and international policies. We work on a wide range of issues, including making sure that farmers are supported in policies and markets for the good things that they do, that, that, that when they um, stay in business and make money, that they do that in ways that are good for the environment and good for their communities and good for their families, that all those things are united. We work to make sure that there's equity in how programs are administered and how programs are designed. One of our core programs and the basis for almost all of our policy work, well, pretty much all of our policy work, is our farm advocacy program. In our direct service work with farm advocacy, we provide financial counseling to individual farmers who are in financial crisis. We get a wide range of calls that's farms all the way from two acres to 15,000 acres. It's every form of agriculture that you could imagine, everything from farmers markets and small scale direct markets to very large scale commodities. One of the major drivers of that farm crisis is natural disasters. And for a long time, our staff have been working with individual farmers and, and, and folks who are recovering from disasters. And from that, we've drawn a series of lessons and done a lot of work trying to make sure that people have access to the information that they need to be able to navigate these waters well. That access to information and being able to navigate the very, very complex disaster assistance programs is a really critically important part of people being able to recover after a disaster. And so we do a lot of education and outreach. But we also do that education and outreach through our partner organizations. And we do our best to make sure that we add value and support the organizations that are partners and other folks that we work with who are on the ground and are the folks who are going to be right there working with farmers over time. It may not be us, it may be folks, and we've done that work across the country in hurricanes in Florida and Texas, Louisiana, um, and in droughts in the Midwest and the uh, hurricanes back in New England a while back. So we work through organizations on the ground quite a bit and work quite a bit with farm aid and, and the network that they have across the country. The third way that we work on this is by taking the experience that we have with individual largely small and mid-scale farms and the farms who are doing good things by connecting into the marketplace differently, um, uh, growing and selling high value, more naturally environmentally sound um, products, by going into the policy world and making sure that the programs that exist work for them and support and promote those farmers who have done what a lot of us have suggested over time and have gone into those markets and, and really face a very difficult time after disasters. So we work all the way from individual farmers all the way through to national and international policy. But one of the things that's important is that if you're someone who's been through the disaster or you're working with people who've been through the disaster, we have a phone number that you can call, 919-542-1396, and just press extension one. That will get you directly through to one of our staff people, and we'll do our best to help you work through the process. Also, on our website, www.rafiusa.org, we've got a series of written materials that you can use and, and it'll help guide through the process. We're gonna be doing a few of these videos and we've got some materials that we've put together. In general, if you're looking for information about specific programs, there's a lot of information that can either come from the agency or from other places, but we're trying to put together the materials of things that we don't see being covered and the important, um, as much art as science of disaster recovery and the overall issues that we see play out each time. I hope that you are able to get through this well. Whatever brings you into looking at this, I'm sorry you're going through it, but I'm glad that you're here and that we can provide some assistance over time. Please be in contact with us.